Hey, welcome to the channel. It's Jack, the muscle and mobility maker with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today, we're gonna to be talking about the three pillars that you need to truly understand when you're training for muscle growth. But before we get into it, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Saturday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine. And it doesn't get better than that. So take advantage of it. Ready? Let's go ahead and dive into this one. All right, like I said, today we're gonna to be talking about the three pillars that you have to have a good understanding of to really build a solid foundation for your training for muscle growth. Now, I call them pillars, but it more realistically might be dials that we want to be thinking of because these are little things that we can adapt and change to the needs of our bodies in the current state that we're in and to push that threshold that we have and really go ahead and hit that optimal range for muscle growth. And to better understand that, we're going to have to dive into the nuances of each one a little bit here. Now, those three dials that we're talking about are the tension, the volume, and the frequency. Those three things are the dials that we want to be able to manipulate and understand how to manipulate well to maximize our muscle growth as we train. So let's go ahead without further ado and dive into each of these dials so that you can do that with efficiency. Pillar or dial number one, mechanical tension. So the primary driver of muscle growth is mechanical tension. So this is the amount of muscle fibers that our body is able to recruit when we're working. Now, we want to always be striving for recruiting the maximal number of muscle fibers. And the way that we do this is by the duration or the intensity, aka the load that we're working and that is going to dictate how our muscle fibers are recruited. So there's multiple ways that I can get to the level of fully recruiting those muscle fibers based off of the load that I'm working. And this is where rep ranges come in handy. So we know that we have a certain one rep max. If I'm working at about 60% of my one rep max, then it's gonna take me about 15 reps or so to reach that maximal recruitment of those muscle fibers and to really trigger that stimulus for muscle growth. Now, at the other end of it, if I'm training more at 85% of my max, maybe I'm getting about three to five reps out of it, and it is a higher load that I'm working with, obviously, so my muscle fibers get recruited a lot faster and I reach that threshold a lot sooner. So this is where our reps are coming into play to help us focus on whether we'll build muscle growth in a 60% range or an 85% range. And the key is that you can get it done anywhere from three to 30 reps, but we need to be loading appropriately so that we are fatiguing and once again, recruiting all those muscle fibers based off of the load that we have there. So basically pick a load, work to your fatigued fully and you're about at that failure range always keeping quality control in mind with that okay making sure the movement is your priority first and failure will come a lot sooner if that is your main priority anyhow because the intentional movement is going to require more out of you with those mus muscle fibers and the tension that you have so that is our first dial mechanical tension and it's not just about going out and picking every exercise you could possibly think of because there's some nuances that we can use here to polish that up when it comes to volume and the frequency as well. Pillar or dial number two, volume. Okay, so volume is the working sets that we're going to be doing. And this is basically the number of times that we can visit that stimulus of mechanical tension without going over the safe boundary and pushing ourselves into a state of fatigue where quality breaks down. 
that will be the biggest key factor right there. So we're hitting an optimal range of volume where we don't lose quality in those working sets and put ourselves at risk of injury and just struggle with the nervous system fatigue that's going on from our training. And with that said, there is an optimal range that we found to be the place where we're able to see the most muscle gain without overtraining in that way. So that range is anywhere from 12 to 20 working sets per muscle group per week. Now again, this is our ability to control fatigue and that is the big key here. We don't want to just go out and hit every exercise we can possibly think of because we're going to over do it with the volume at that point and break that barrier with the fatigue. So it's very important to control our volume in coordination with our mechanical tension between that 12 to 20 set range and build that up. So as you are going to work and consistently work at that range at a certain load, you will note that you're also able to eventually gradually increase that load and you have a higher tolerance for fatigue over time. That's the name of the game, right? We're trying to build up our tolerance to fatigue, build muscle at the same time, but we don't want to overdo it by breaking that threshold and going over that 20 set range per muscle group. And this is also important to think of the fact that our muscles are not isolated out when we're working completely. So if I'm doing a chest press and then I'm also doing a shoulder press, my, my triceps are actually getting two sets or however many sets I did there, if it was four sets each, each set, eight sets versus my chest got four, my shoulders, delts got four. So that is something to play in as a factor as well, being aware of the actual uh, musculature that is being used in different groups of exercises. It's a lot to think about at times, but that's how you're going to keep track of your volume overall. Now with that said, your triceps, muscles like that, can actually handle a little more volume overall. So it's okay if you're working with maybe 12 to 15 sets on your chest and shoulders and your triceps are getting a little bit more volume because they are naturally able to handle that a little bit better anyhow. And our third and final pillar or dial is going to be the frequency. Okay, so we've got mechanical tension, the amount of work, the stimulus we're creating, that fatigue that we're building up through that tension, the volume, the sets that we're working, reps, sets, and now we've got the frequency. The frequency is going to be your split or how you're breaking up your work throughout a week. And this is where you can get very technical with it as far as how you want to do your splits, whether there's an upper day, lower day, shoulder day, all those types of splits can all be options in this area here. And you can really tailor it to yourself. Again, these are all three dials that are working together to mainly control your fatigue and allow for better quality while still hitting that optimal range of 12 to 20 sets with mechanical tension being the primary driver in the very beginning okay so we're working on finding that sweet spot for ourselves of how frequently i can visit these uh, muscle groups in those sets and still see quality work being done to maximize my muscle growth now some things that you can play with here daily undulating periodization is a great way to do this and if that sounds very fancy all it is is a way of saying that you can vary your intensity of your load within a week to also help with this fatigue control so maybe on monday i'm working my chest at 60 percent of my one rep max and then on wednesday or thursday whenever i visit again i'm working it at that 85 percent or somewhere in between and you can vary your intensity and load to help with your body's ability to manage again 
the fatigue and the quality overall. So all in all, put these three pieces together, the mechanical tension being the main driver, the volume, the number of sets that you're doing per week, and then the frequency, and keep tinkering with those till you find a sweet spot, and then you can always play with it again as your body adapts and changes overall. All right, and there you have it. The three dials that you need to be working to optimize your muscle growth and manage your quality and fatigue. If you like this video, make sure you let me know by clicking that big thumbs up down below and take a moment to share this one with a friend who's working on building muscle right now. You know that they'll find this helpful and they'll get a good structure to work off of from that. If you're somebody who has training aches and injuries and that's something that's standing in the way of you building that muscle that you want to do right now or reoccurring or old aches or injuries and you want to resolve those and be able to move more functionally while building that muscle, then what I want you to do right now is drop down below in the description to fill out a coaching application. What you're going to do is answer a few preliminary questions and then schedule a blueprint call so that you can work directly with me on developing a mobility blueprint that helps you get out of the pain that you're currently dealing with or fully resolve the struggle that you have that is limiting your training. So that is our main focus for you. And after that, we'll get you moving in the right direction with your training program so that you can get back to training the way that you truly want to. If that sounds good to you, down in the description right now, fill out that coaching application and we'll get your call scheduled and move you right away. Now, last but not least, if you have not already, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Saturday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine. And it doesn't get better than that. Welcome to the Stronghold Army. I'll see you next week.